Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Jupiter in the surrounding area, but you started looking at some real estate and you're going, whoa, I don't know if I want to spend that much to live in Florida. You know what? That's okay. This video is for you. Today, we're going to talk all about some great value communities and show you how you can spend less, get more, and still enjoy the sunshine, shopping, and beaches, everything that Florida's got to offer you. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Andy Johnson with the Andy Johnson Group over at EXP Realty. Thank you so much for joining us today. I can't wait to tell you about some of the great value areas that we've got here. And I do mean value, not cheap, not bad, great values and great places to live. Some secret spots that not everybody's heard about, but you're going to know. Before we do, if this is your first time checking out our channel, make sure you click subscribe or ring that bell so you can get notified anytime we're posting great information about living in Jupiter and the surrounding area from great deals to great communities great places to eat great places to shop that is what we do here and we want you to be in the know you can always 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 reach out to us by email phone um, we've got links below so check those out but let's get back to it you're wanting to come down here to Florida but you're looking at prices and it's a little bit scary I mean let's face it Palm Beach County is one of the more expensive communities or counties in Florida to live in but there's a reason and that's because everybody wants to be here and I live here so I get why. I mean, listen, folks, I'm from the Midwest. Stop talk about sticker shock, you know? I moved here from Missouri where you can get a beautiful, beautiful home for a heck of a lot less money, but it is totally worth it. And so I, you know, we're hearing a lot of people coming from areas and just, you know, not wanting to necessarily spend the money that it's gonna take to get into Jupiter, Palm Beach Gardens, Juno Beach, Boca, some of the places where it's just a little bit more expensive. And listen, we know, right, that the big thing with real estate location 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 is exactly what we're going to talk about today so let's start off um, with Royal Palm Beach Royal Palm Beach is a wonderful little city to check out it is an all ages area so you're gonna have people that are retiring you've got a lot of families there probably more families than every than anything that call Royal Palm Beach home you know it's located just Okeechobee Boulevard and is a wonderful wonderful little place you're probably about 20 to 20 five minutes to the beach but plenty of shopping plenty of places to go eat and all the under other wonderful things that you want you're still close to the airport you're still close to downtown west palm if you're looking at for a night out on the town but you're getting it for more of a value so if we look at jupiter as a whole the average cost or the average price of a home that's selling here to kind of give a reference point is going to be at 1.2 million dollars now that's taking the low and the high we're smacking it together and we're coming out with our average point when we're looking at royal palm beach that number is going to be closer to four hundred and sixty thousand dollars now there are some things that skew those numbers a little bit but it is a great value great place to live the population of royal palm beach is around forty six thousand. now if you're not familiar with how we operate here in South Florida, kind of basically from Tequesta down south of Miami. You know, we basically move from one city to another. You're not gonna have gaps. You know, you don't exit Jupiter and then enter Palm Beach Gardens. You don't, um, you know, Royal Palm Beach, what I'm trying to say is not just some little enclave out by itself. You know, it connects to a bunch of other places, but it's a great place where you can get a lot of value for the dollar. You know, the high school doesn't rate as well out there as some other schools, but uh, some of the uh, elementary and middle schools do rate pretty well. You've got private schools galore everywhere. And we can always get you that information because how schools rate and whether they're right for you or not, if schools are even important, is something uh, that you definitely want to consider. Now, I will say if you're 55 and older and you're specifically geared towards a community like that, Royal Palm Beach can be a little bit more difficult. There's just not quite as many options there for that particular category. If you specifically want a 55 and older, they exist. There's just not as many of them. But let's move to our next city. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about Boynton Beach. So Boynton is going to be a little bit farther south than Royal Palm um, and also Jupiter. You know, Jupiter is kind of at the northernmost part of Palm Beach County. Boynton's kind of right in the center. Um, it runs pretty much all the way east and west from the ocean, you know, out past 441 if you're familiar with that road. Now, Boynton is definitely an excellent place to look at if you're looking for a 55 and older community. There are tons of them out there. I mean, a lot. 
and a lot to choose from. It's also got a ton of single family homes out there if that's what you're after as well. Um, Boynton has a really, really high rated school district from high school on down that's very attractive for families that are looking at public schools. Um, that's the Park Vista School District. You can look that up on greaterschools.org, um, you know, or we can send you the link uh, and show you where to look. And it's a beautiful place. Now, one of the drawbacks to Boynton is it doesn't have its own downtown. Um, there's no lack of shopping. There's restaurants everywhere still, but you don't actually have a downtown that you can get to, but it's okay. Don't worry about that. You are just north of Delray and Atlantic Ave, which is where everybody wants to go and hang out anyway. Atlantic Ave is a great place to hang out, go eat, show off <laughs> to your friends and family what a great place it is to live here and it is not far from Boynton at all even if you live in West Boynton and I say that because Atlantic Ave is in East Delray it's not going to take you long to get there at all. Um, Boynton has a really really great feel to it you've got some really great selections in communities you've got some golf communities there really anything that you want the population of Boynton is going to be about 80,000 people and it's very, very similar to Royal Palm as far as average price. As we said, you know, Jupiter's gonna be up at about 1.2. Boynton, you're gonna fall in that four to $500,000 range again. So uh, just a tremendous, tremendous value going out to Boynton and definitely something that you wanna consider. And then the other place that we're gonna talk about today is going to be Lake Worth. So Lake Worth is actually right in between, well, that's not true actually stick around um, because we are going to talk about one other place to live that's pretty unique down here in Florida and you, you don't want to miss that. Oh, and if you have any questions up to this point, go ahead, write them down below or leave us a comment. Hey, if you love the video, we'd love to hear it. If you hate the video, it's cool. I want to know about it. Anyway, back to Lake Worth. So Lake Worth is located in between Royal Palm Beach and Boynton. Again, it's pretty central in Palm Beach County. Um, Lake Worth it, it, population is 38,000 if you look it up. However, when people think about Lake Lake Worth here, what the actual outline of is Lake Worth and what people consider Lake Worth are two different things. Um, Lake Worth has some sections that fall into that Park Vista High School District that I was telling you about. It's also a city that has a lot of 55 and older options as well. Now, when you're in Lake Worth, truthfully, you know, it is de it definitely feels a little bit older driving through there to me um, in, in certain parts of it. Uh, certain parts aren't as attractive as, as some of the other areas that we've talked about it but it depends on where you are and it's still a really really great place to call home downtown or lake worth if that's that's what you want to call it is really really cool it's a little bit more eccentric than anywhere else you're going to find down here it's got a really cool kind of art vibe to it they do this excellent um chalk art event among many other things but i just i really like this one where they get all the artists they come out they draw on chalk on these two main roads that are down there and you just go and hang out and when you're down there again it just it's just got more of an eclectic feel beautiful homes down there in their their downtown area though um a lot of old Florida homes that just have a ton of character whereas other areas Boynton Jupiter you know developed maybe a little bit after you don't you don't quite have the same feel and so if that's something you're after Lake Worth is a great place to look at again you know depending on where you are in Lake Worth it's easy access to the beach one other thing worth mentioning to me I, I will say about Lake Worth um Boynton and Royal Palm is let's talk about beaches you know Royal Palm you don't have any definite beach that you're going to go to if you headed um due east to co go to the beach from Royal Palm you're going to end up in Palm Beach uh, proper which is an amazing place to visit um, it's a very very wealthy area and great place to go but may not be where you want to go hang out at the beach it's hard to find parking um, paying for parking is going to be more expensive great place to visit just not an everyday beach spot so you're kind of looking from Royal Palm and either probably heading north to Juneau or heading south to Lake Worth or Boynton um, depending on what you like so your, your travel time to the beach from Royal Palm may be a little bit longer um, 25 to 30 minutes depending on your preference of beach Lake Worth Beach is actually not going to be one of my favorites um, and just because it is so popular and I like a little bit quieter beach. If you're into a busy beach with lots of people and lots of people watching, it is an amazing, amazing place to go. They've got a great pier there. 
Uh, Benny's on the beach is on, on their pier out there. It's a great little restaurant to go to, but it's just busier than, than what I like. Um, I've always been able to find parking. Um, but again, for me, it's me. Now, Boynton, Boynton has some of my favorite beaches. Um, I used to live um, in, in central Palm Beach County and Boynton was one of my favorite beaches to head over to. I just always thought they were very beautiful, very gorgeous. Hard for me to describe to you in this video exactly where I, I like to go. But if you're ever headed down to Boynton, you want to know what beach I'm talking about. Again, reach out. I'll, I'll circle it on a map or, or pin it and I'll send it over to you. So here we go. Last spot we're going to talk about and is kind of totally different than what most people think of in Florida, but still is a great value down here. And that's going to be the acreage or Loxahatchee, Florida. That runs basically from North Lake Boulevard in North Palm Beach all the way down Southern Boulevard, which is, runs in between Royal Palm Beach and Wellington. Out to the west, they it's a community where pretty much every home sits on at least an acre at least one acre. Now there's some that sit on five acres, there's some that are on two and a half, but the majority all sit on an acre. No HOAs, do what you want, you know, Pave Street, there's some dirt roads out there, but you get a lot for your money when you go out there. Now again, the drawback is, hey, you do have some groceries out there, there's a couple restaurants, but if you're somebody that wants to go out every night to a different spot, it's not for you. Something else that's exciting about out there too, though, and that's changing the landscape is a community called Westlake that's being developed. And, and really Westlake calling it a community isn't true. It's a township. It's been taken on by builders and, and they're actually building thousands and thousands of homes in the uh, center of the acreage. And then also with that, you're going to see shopping. There's community centers. I mean, it's really, it's, it's a city basically. And it's pretty cool for the other residents out there because they're gonna have all of these things that have been a little bit farther away that are easily accessible. But, you know, if you're looking to come to Florida and you still want privacy and you want value, that is the place to go. We have something very similar up in the Jupiter area called Jupiter Farms. We've done a video on it, but again, it's more expensive. You know, you're going to pay more to be there. The acreage is where, you know, you can get some land and, and you're going to get a better bang for your buck going there. So there you go. Now, listen, there's other places you can go here and get more for your money just so you know. I, I can't cover them all and I, I can't tell you all about these, but there are places that you can go. So if you're looking on how to stretch that dollar and get the absolute most that you can, you gotta call me. You gotta give me a call, you gotta reach out, we gotta talk about what you want so I can point you to where you wanna be. Now, if money's out the window and it's all about what location you want and Jupiter is it, or Palm Beach Gardens is it, or Boca is where you wanna be and this is the country club you wanna be in, that's fine too. We gotcha. I love to talk to anybody that wants to come here and, and wants to call here home or that just wants information. You know, a lot of people that come, when we talk to them the first time, they're like, I'm just looking around. That's cool. That's how most people start when they come down here is looking around, trying to find out information. And that's what we'd like to do for you is just give you everything that you need. So listen, thank you so much for checking out the video. One more time, if you haven't done it before, please you know, like this, subscribe, ring the bell so you can get notified when we're posting these things and keep watching for more great videos from Living in Jupiter, Florida. Thank you.